Well, if you wanted to meet the man who got the biggest paycheck on tour this year, he's right here with me, Billy Horshaw. Thanks so much for joining us on Golfing World. First of all, congratulations. I haven't seen you since you won the Tour Championship and then the whole FedEx Cup. How are you feeling and what a moment that was for you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was, uh, it's still um, very um, surreal to um, you know, win that much money and do what I did the last uh, three tournaments of the PJ Tour season. You know, you can't, I mean, you can dream of it, but uh, for it to actually become reality is uh, something, like I said, surreal and I just still can't fathom it a little bit, but um, it's been a great uh, month and a half since and um, just enjoying life right now. Watching what you went through on the 72nd hole at the Deutsche Bank was, was heart-wrenching to watch for anyone rooting for you, but how did you pull yourself back from that and so quickly? Yeah, I, uh, I knew I was playing well. It was the first event that I played uh, you know, I played real, four good rounds, had a chance to win. You know, it's been, it was several months that uh, I hadn't had that opportunity. So I felt good where my game was. So I wasn't too down about anything. I hit a bad shot at the wrong time. It happens. This is a game of golf. You're going to do that stuff. Um, even the best players in the world do it. So I had to get over it because I knew I had two more big events left. And um, if I could keep playing the way I did in, in Boston, I knew uh, some good things could possibly lie ahead. And, and man, did it ever with that FedEx Cup. You're a perfect example of how form, when form comes at the right time, it really pays off. How would you describe the journey you went on this season to really peak at the right time? Yeah, I, I think it's just, um, I have this belief, I have this confidence that, uh, you know, no, no matter how bad things are, I feel like I'm always moving in the right direction. I feel like I'm always working on the right things. And that goes, uh, you know, that's the way I've always been, but also, you know, I think it helps that I have a, a team around me that, that feels the same way. We're always working the right things with Todd Anderson, my caddy, Michael Fugit, um, you know, my two trainers and Randy Myers and Jeff Frank. And then, like I said, I have a team that, uh, you know, we always just, we felt like we were moving in the right direction. We were doing the right things in practice and the results just hadn't shown up yet. And, um, you know, I knew that when they did things, the good things were going to, really good things were going to come. And I mean, obviously I didn't think a FedEx Cup was going to happen, but, uh, you know, I'm happy it did. So turning up at Tour Championship, having won one of the playoffs, having come second in another, having not quite grasped the win in, in the other, did you feel a lot of pressure on you or were you quite relaxed during the whole process? I was quite relaxed. Um, I felt very confident in my game. Um, if I was a betting man, um, I sort of said something at Denver that if, you know, if I was a betting man, I would put some money on myself because there was a good chance that uh, I was going to have a chance to win come Sunday at Tour Championship. and. You know, I could have been a little bit more brash and said, uh, yeah, you know, inside I wanted to say, yeah, I would take the check I won at BMW and put it, you know, laid on myself and because I felt like I was going to win the ne next week. And, um, you know, like I said, with Mark Horton and, and, and TA, we were doing um, the right things. We, were gonna, we weren't going to change anything. And, and with the both of them having won a FedEx Cup before with Brant Snedeker two years prior, you know, they knew the recipe that needed to, um, that you needed to succeed and you know they, they fed it to me and and you know I uh, I, I, I ate it the whole thing so you have a lot going on off the course as well of course your wife was about to give birth Brittany to your first child which we then know you had Skylar how nice I mean it couldn't have come really at a more perfect time could it win the FedEx Cup go home and become a father for the first time it must have been the best moment of your life yeah it was pretty insane we uh, I had I had to do an outing a charity event Monday and I drove back uh, Monday night and I actually planned on going to New York uh, Tuesday morning to do some talk show stuff and um, got back three hours later after being home we were rushed to the hospital to have it have have our baby girl Skylar I mean she came 12 days early we weren't um, you know I, I still hadn't even sat down to sort of uh, enjoy and try and soak in what just happened it was like okay now it's time to go be a father and um, so it took me probably another week or two to to have the uh, the loan time to just soak it all in and and from the FedEx Cup and then obviously on top of it with Father Hurt. I mean, listen, I had the greatest month of September of my whole life. Um, 27 years old to, to win that much money and to do something that um, special and then at the same time have my little girl Skylar two days later. I'm not, that, that may be the best, um, you know, that may be the greatest thing I ever do in my life and, you know, I may live for another 30, 40, 50 years and understanding that the greatest moment of my life was at 27 years old, I'm, I'm fine with that. And one other thing I want to talk to you about is the Ryder Cup. Did you feel, personal things aside, sad that you'd missed out on the team knowing how well you were playing? Yeah, I mean, I would love to have been part of that team, especially by the, 
especially by the way I was playing. I felt like I could have helped the team out a lot. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, with everything that came out after on the United States side, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I may not have been part of that situation. Um, it may not have been a great uh, something to be part of. It may have dampered the Ryder Cup uh, first, my first experience. But at the same time, I was happy being home. I was, I was rooting like hell for the for the United States team to pull it out. But you had to give it to the European side. They just played a lot better than us, and they kicked our butts. And and that's what it comes down to. The players played great, and and we didn't. And um, you know, when that uh, happens, you just gotta. You know, tip your cap to the other team. Before darkness completely <laughs> falls on us, I'm going to let you go. Billy Horschel, 2014 FedEx Cup champion. Congratulations. Thanks Thank for you so us. much. Thank you.